Art Snackers, my name is Roxanne. I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator, also known as Bi Bun. It was like marker madness with this month's Art Snacks box, including one marker that might legit blow your mind. That and more coming up right now because this is the Art Snacks box breakdown. Welcome back to another box breakdown where we take a closer look at some of the supplies and techniques found in the latest Art Snacks box. We've got a lot of supplies to explore and play around with and that one marker I mentioned at the start, well, I'm saving that for last. While we've got several supplies to review, I actually first want to talk about the bonus item we received this month. The Yupo Medium Mini Paper Pad by Legion Paper. The texture of this paper is crazy, especially when you learn that it's synthetic and totally tree free. It's got a super smooth surface, so know that this paper will require some dry time for most art media to avoid any smudging. I actually really love getting these little paper pads in the monthly boxes because I'll either use them to make artist trading cards or I'll use them to create little swatches that I'll then put into my sketchbook. For this breakdown video, I'll be using it to swatch all the remaining supplies in the box. Working in one of my smaller sketchbooks, the first item that I'm reaching for is the Caran d'Ache Graphwood Pencil. I'm also sharpening it with my Derwent 2-in-1 Eraser Sharpener Combo, which we got in a previous box, but you can also pick it up from the Art Snack Shop. I began by just doodling some faces and heads. Now, I'll admit I totally had planned on doing a larger scale illustration for this video, but I got super sucked into drawing with this pencil. What got me was just how soft the core is and how comfortable it is to hold. Everyone got a different type of graphite hardness in their box, but I snagged the 2B in mine. to my doodles, I'm now going to be using two supplies together. The Tombow dual tip markers and the Amsterdam acrylic marker. First, let's talk about these Tombow twin tone dual tip markers. We're getting two this month. Yes! And I got a mint green color and a very vibrant pink. Each marker features two tips, a broad bullet tip and an extra fine one. There's a lot of really cool color options with these markers, and if you're itching to get a full set, Art Snacks offers two 12 pack options to complete your collection pastels, and brights. Starting with a broad tip, I began to just add some bigger blocks of color in the hair. And this is when our next marker comes into play. Reaching now for the Amsterdam Titanium White Acrylic Marker, I'm going to be using this bad boy as a blender. Much like the Tombow markers, this marker is water-based, so I can use it to tint down the Tombow marker color to create a gradient. If you wanted to, you could also blend colors together. The tip of this marker is super sturdy, so you could write or doodle on a lot of different surfaces. So my mixed media peeps out there, you're gonna love this one for writing on top of paint or collage paper. Here, I'm blending up the Tombow marker color to create some fun detail in the hair. Two other pointers for you, be sure to give this guy a nice shake before using and store at a horizontal position, much like it says right on the marker. After blending in all the hair types using the Amsterdam marker, I'm now going to add some facial feature detail using both tips of the Tombow markers. Two-in-one markers like this are awesome, so now I can be constantly kind of mixing up my line work. With my facial features complete, I'm now going to add in the same color to my background. Only this time, I'm going to do it by watering down the ink because these markers are water-based. Using the Yupo paper as a palette, I'll scribble some of the ink down, mix in some water, and apply with a brush. With my background filled in, I'm now really feeling like my doodles need a bit of pizzazz. And yes, it's the art supply you've been dying to meet. The Molotow Liquid Chrome Marker. This special edition item celebrates Molotow's 20th anniversary. And man, do these guys know how to party. I was literally shocked with just how metallic this thing is. The chrome finish literally looks like a mirror when applied on paper. I get the feeling this marker might show up on a lot of different things. 
All right, it's time to put this baby to the test. How does it work on black surfaces? Oh, it works. How about a sketchbook cover? Okay, it works on that. Hmm, what else can I write on? Let's try this old photograph. Yep, works on that. How about a piece of wood? Let's see. Yep, works on wood. What about an artichoke? Yep, looks like it works on an artichoke. What do you think, Lurchies? You think this thing will write on fur? The ink in this marker flows easy, and the one millimeter nib is perfect for detailing. Returning back to my sketchbook now, I decided to outline all of my little floating doodle heads. The mirror and shimmer effect of the ink really gave it a sticker kind of look. I was also obsessively tilting my page the entire time just to see that shimmer in action. This marker is so crazy cool and something I don't even think I would have known about had it not been for Art Snacks. And that's what Art Snacks is all about, finding new awesome stuff that you're totally gonna fall in love with. With my metallic outline complete, I will now jump back to previous supplies and add in more detail. So there you have it guys, the November Art Snacks box. If you're new to Art Snacks and want to get your hands on a box, I will put a link down below where you can sign up. While you're here, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for future breakdowns, and follow Art Snacks on social media. This has been another Art Snacks box breakdown, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye!